Today I'm going to show you how to draw a parrot. We've been learning about Frida Kahlo and as we know she had a strong love of animals and she actually had a pet parrot named Bonito. Today we're going to draw Bonito and then next class we will start to color Bonito using oil pastels. You are going to need a black sheet of paper, white pencil, and an eraser. Before we get started, when we go to draw, you want to draw lightly. If you draw heavy, if you make a, when you make a mistake, you will not be able to erase. So it's important that you draw light. Okay, our first step is across the paper horizontally in the middle you're going to lightly draw a line down the center then you will flip your paper vertically and you will lightly draw another line down the center you should have four quadrants this is going to help the placement of your bird first we're going to start down here and you're going to come up an arch, you want to curve your teardrop. This is what's going to be our wing. Next, we need to draw what will become the body. You're going to come up and you're going to make half a heart. You don't want to complete the heart. Now we're going to draw his beak. You're going to come, curve, go back up. This will create his beak. Now you're just going to finish that off to be the head. So we now have the body and one wing of our bird. We now need to add his, the wing on the other side. We're just going to see part of this wing, so it just needs to be a small half teardrop. Next, our bird is going to be perched on a branch. So we need to draw his branch. And we're going to draw his talons. Next will be his, his tail feathers. For the tail feathers, draw elongated teardrops. You can make them either um, pointed or rounded. The choice is yours. Everybody's bird's going to be different, and that's okay. Now let's go and add just a few details so that when we go to color, we'll know what colors we want to put where. First, I need to add an eye to my bird. Okay. I want to add some to his beak. I'm going to add some feathers onto his wing here. And your feathers may look different than my feathers, and that is okay. Again, everyone interprets and draws art differently, so it's up to you on how you want to do this. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to color over it using our oil pastels, okay? Now, for our final step, remember how I told you to draw lightly? This is why, because we want to erase those guidelines as best we can. It's okay if they don't erase completely, because like I said, we're going to color with oil pastels, and that's going to cover those up. All right. 
Final steps, make sure with any artwork you sign your name. And now you have your own Benito the Parrot.